Hi everyone, today we are going to be making a pair of booties like this here. Um, I already made one to show you how it's going to look in the end, um, but then I'll, I'll make the other one to make the pair for this one here. Um, so we're going to get started. I'm just going to use Red Heart yarn, uh, Red Heart Super Saver in black today, but you can use any worsted weight yarn. It doesn't have to be Red Heart, um, but any... Um, medium sized yarn that is size 4, like this one here. Um, you can even do size 5, but that might be a little too thick. So we're going to use size 4 today, and I'm using black, and we're going to need an H size hook, which is 5 millimeters. Um, so we're going to need that as well. I actually found this pattern online. It is a free pattern, uh, so I will put the description or the link in the description of this video, and it is from Repeat Crafter Me. Uh, she does hers in two colors, but I'm just gonna do mine in one color. So if you want to follow her pattern, you can change your colors to do dual colored and whatnot. So uh, that's up to you. And I just want to, before we start, I do want to say that I do have a Facebook page, so you uh, can join that. I'll put the link in the description of this video. And also subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my videos, um, get updates on when I post videos. I try to get one out every week or more, so uh, just uh, do that and we'll get started right away. So we're making these baby booties. The first thing we need to do is start off with a slip knot. If you're unsure on how to make a slip knot, there are other videos out there to do that. All right, and then with our H size hook, we are going to start off by chaining 10. Oh, and by the way, these baby booties will fit a newborn to three months old. So they look kind of big, I mean, in my hand, they fit my whole hand basically. Um, so that's, I mean, they're stretchy and I did put a piece of, I put a yarn ball in here to show you the shape. But they're like slippers basically, like sl slipper socks. So they fit, you know, this long, um, that's about five inches. So uh, Keep that in mind. If you need it to be a smaller size, I would go down to a G size hook, which is a four and a half millimeter. Um, or if you want them bigger for a toddler size, I would go up a size to an I size hook, which is five and a half millimeters. So that's really on your preference. Um, you know, smaller the hook, the smaller the booty, the larger the hook, the larger the booty. So. Um, we're going to start off by chaining 10, so just yarn over and pull through, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, then single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and then single crochet in the next seven. So in the second chain from the hook, I usually like to work on the back ridges here. So um, you see your chain like this, but if you turn it toward you, you'll see there are ridges, one here, one here, one here, etc. So I'm going to work in those back ridges, so in the second chain from the hook, so the one, the loop that's on our hook right now does not count as a chain or anything. It doesn't count as a single thing. So we're going to go one and then two. So the second chain from the hook, we are going to put a single crochet. So insert your hook right in there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's a single crochet. Then single crochet in the next seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
and seven, and then you'll have one chain left, which we are going to work five single crochets in that last chain. And it's gonna kind of loop around to the un underside. You can kind of see that I'm kind of turning it upside down anyways. So we're gonna work five single crochet right in there. One, two, three, four, and five. And you can see I'm kind of crocheting over the top of my straggler. So you can do that as well. Now, we're on the other side. I kind of just turned it upside down. So we were working it like this across here. And then we're working it around to the other side. So I turned it upside down here. And now we're going to be working across here this base here and I'm gonna work over the top of my straggler so it says to work on the opposite side and single crochet all the way across which you'll have um, eight so not working in that one where we just did five we're gonna work in the very next one after that and we're going to insert our hook and do a single crochet Okay, then in the next, so all the way across, so that's for eight single crochet. So that was one, this is two, so then three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one is over here, eight. Okay, and before we move on, I'm just going to trim my straggler so it doesn't get in the way anywhere. Alright, and we are going to join to the beginning, so it's our first single crochet, so you kind of have to turn your work back all the way around and see there's our first single crochet right there. So we're just going to go under there for a slip stitch. All right, now it says to, uh, for round two, we are going to chain two, so one and two, and now we're going to work a half double crochet in the same stitch that we just chained up two in, okay? So work in that same stitch, and we're doing a half double crochet, so that was a yarn over and go into that stitch then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook that is a half double crochet so just do one in that stitch then in the next stitch we're going to put two half double crochet one and two okay two half double crochet in there then we are going to put one half double crochet in the next six stitches so yarn over, go into the next stitch for a half double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six, like so. Then it says two half double crochet in the next two stitches. So in the next two stitches, we're going to put two in two. So they'll have a total of four. So half double crochet two in the next stitch. So one and two right in the same stitch right there. See that? Okay. Then two half double crochet in the next stitch. One and two. Okay. Then it says to, let's see here, two half double crochet in the next two, then half double, one half double crochet in the next two. So just put one in the next, like that. And then going on to the very next stitch, we're going to put one half double crochet. Okay, so we had two and two 
like see two here then two here then one and then one and now in the next two we're going to kind of repeat what we just did is just put two half double crochet in this stitch and two half double crochet in that stitch for a total of four again so one and two in the same stitch and then one and two in this stitch okay then it says half double crochet in the next six stitches so just put one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches so it's one two three four five and six then it says put two half double crochets in the next stitch one and two in the same stitch okay and then we have one stitch left so we just have to put one half double crochet in there in our very last stitch of that round okay then we have to join to the first half double crochet of that round Okay, with a slip stitch, and then we're going to chain one. All right, going on to round number three, we are going to do one single crochet in the next ten stitches. So in the same one that we chained up one in, we're going to go right back in there for a single crochet this time. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. That's a single crochet. So that was one. So in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then it says to do two single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So put two single crochet in the same stitch or in the next stitch so we did 10 single crochet so then in the very next stitch we're going to put two single crochet so one and two okay two single crochet in the same stitch and then in the very next stitch we're going to put two more single crochet one and two just like that okay and then it says to do two half double crochets in the next five stitches so now ha half double crochet remember yarn over go into the stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook so do another one in that same stitch for two so it's one and two so two in the next okay so we did that one two so we have to do that three more times so two in the next okay then two half double crochet in the next and then two half double crochet in the next all right so that's a total of ten half double crochets in that area and then it says to do uh, basically what we did on the other side so two uh, single crochet in the next two stitches so now we're not doing half double crochet anymore so we don't have to yarn over okay so just go directly into the stitch then yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two so then that was one single crochet so I have to put another single crochet right in that same stitch and then moving on to the next stitch we're going to put two single crochet again in that stitch like that all right then we are going to let's see here do single crochet in the next then we're going to single crochet in the next 10 stitches which should be the rest of the stitches on this round so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten 
All right, then join with a slip stitch to the beginning single crochet of that round. And then it says to chain one. And now we will go on to round number four. All right, so round number four, we are actually only working in the back loops only. So uh, I'll show you here in this stitch, we're gonna be working in this stitch first. And you can see that there's two loops. There's the front loop and then there's the back loop. So we're gonna go in here to the back loops. So in through here to the back, okay? On each stitch and that will give a line there's gonna be a ribbing effect on here. So we're gonna go through the back loops only on round number four. And we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch around. So just insert your hook in between there, like that for the back loop only. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so just do one single crochet in each stitch around only working through the back loops and on this round you should end up with 39 single crochet so uh, do that continue doing that and come all the way around and I will meet you back up when I have my 39 single crochet all right so I just came back around and I have 39 single crochet just working in the back loops only so now I'm just gonna slip stitch to the beginning single crochet of that round like that and now we're gonna go on to round number five and it's just basically repeating our last round so just chain one work in the back loops only and do one single crochet in each stitch around so continue doing that like this and then I'll meet you back around when I am finished with this round. Okay. So on the written pattern of this, uh, this, these booties, on round five it says you should end up with 40 single crochet um, but I don't see a last stitch here so I'm going to just put two single crochet in the last stitch on my booty but if you end up with 40 stitches on that round perfect you want to have 40 single crochet at the end of round five then we want to just slip stitch to the beginning okay and then in her pattern it says to change color we're not going to change any colors i'm doing this all black so then uh, it says to chain one and then it says the single crochet at making deep single crochets. What is a deep single crochet? Oh my gosh. Um, well, <laughs> I can tell you it is working. Instead of working on this row here, we are going to be working down where we uh, have this first line here. So right in the same, in those back loops that we worked in, on the last round we're gonna work through those so I don't know if you can see but there is a hole right there and right there and right there so each stitch we're working it from the last round so from round four so or I'm sorry round five Right, we just worked round five into round four, so we're working now round six into round four, if that makes sense. So all you have to do is just insert your hook right down there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. This just gives it dimension, and I think when she changed her colors on her pattern, it um, gives it a, like a stitching look. So, yeah, you can see that the holes get bigger as I pull on there. So, but you don't want to make your stitches too tight or stretching them out or making the stitches look weird. You just want to pull just enough. So, just do that all the way around for 40 
deep single crochets. Okay, so it's basically going around the stitches from round five. Okay, so this is round six. So I'll just meet you back up when I have single crocheted deep single crochets all the way around. Okay. All right, so I just came back around. Now I'm just going to slip stitch to the first deep single crochet of that round. Okay. Now, working on round seven, we are going to chain one. And now we're working through both loops. We're not doing any more deep single crochets. We're not working through back loops. We're working through both of the loops, which means just like a regular single crochet through these stitches here, okay? So we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch around like this all the way around for 40 single crochet. So again, I'm just gonna continue on doing mine and I'll meet you back up when I am back around to the beginning. Okay, so I just did one single crochet all the way around and I'm just gonna slip stitch to the beginning of that round, that was round number seven. So now, this is where the fun starts. This is where we're gonna shape our shoe. So we are um, on round number eight right now, we are going to chain one and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next 12 stitches, okay? So this is, I'll just show you the whole thing, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, now we are going to be working with single crochet decreases. And we need to single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next two. And we have to do that sequence four times. What does that mean? <laughs> well, we're gonna do a single crochet decrease. So insert your hook into the next stitch, then yarn over and pull through, then go directly into the next stitch, and then yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a single crochet decrease. Then it says to single crochet in the next two. So one and then two. Okay, and we have to do this whole sequence four times. So we already did it once, so we have to do it four more times. So again, decrease, single crochet, Then do one single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, so we did that sequence, that's number two of that sequence. So we have to do this twice more. So do a decrease single crochet. Then we have to do a single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, now do it one more time. Decrease single crochet and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. All right, now it says to do one single crochet in the next 12 stitches, which should be the whole round, uh, back to the beginning. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and yep, twelve. There we go. So now we're just going to slip stitch to the beginning. So that first single crochet of that round, slip stitch like that. And then we're going to work on round number nine by chaining one and do one single crochet in the next 14 stitches. So in the same one that we chained up one in, we're gonna do one single crochet. So that's one, next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay, then it says to single crochet decrease. So then we're just gonna do the insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So that's a single crochet decrease. So from here on out, I think you know how to do that. So I'll just say decrease single crochet or single crochet decrease and you'll know what to do. So do that one. Then it says to do a sing regular single crochet in the next stitch. And then we have to do a single crochet decrease. Okay, then it says to do a regular single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then it says to do another single crochet decrease. And then it says to single crochet in the next 14 stitches, which should be just the rest of the stitches on this round. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Then we're going to slip stitch to the beginning, so the very first single crochet of that round. Slip stitch there, then chain one. Now we are going to be working on round number 10. You can see it's starting to make its shape, which is really cool. So round number 10 says to single crochet in the next 10. So in that same stitch that we chained up one in, we're going to do a single crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then we have to do six single crochet decreases. So decrease, single crochet. So there's one, two, whoops, Okay, three, four, five, and six. All right, so that's really pulling your toe part together nice and tight. Then it says to single crochet in the next 11, which should be the rest of the stitches on this round. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now we're going to slip stitch to the beginning here, and then we're going to go on to round number 11, which it says to chain one, and then do a single crochet in the next 10 stitches. So in that same stitch that we chained up one in, we are going to do a single crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then it says to do a single crochet decrease three, or do three single crochet decreases. So we're gonna do our single crochet decreases. So there's one, then two. Okay, last one here, 
three. All right, then it says to single crochet in the next 11, which should be the rest of the stitches on this round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven is stuck in there. Ah, there you go. Eleven. And then single, or I'm sorry, slip stitch to the beginning here. Okay, then round number 12 says to chain one and do one single crochet into the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then it says to do it two single crochet decreases. So do the two single crochet decreases. So this is one and two. Okay, then it says to single crochet 10, which are the rest on this round. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I ended up with eleven. So what I end if you end up with eleven on this round, you can easily just do another decrease. It's nobody's even gonna notice. If you just end up with ten, awesome. Just do a single crochet. Then slip stitch to the beginning and then chain one. And now, if you need to, put a stitch marker in there. I'm just gonna use an extra piece of yarn. And we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch around for rounds 13, 14, 15, and 16. Oh, I'm sorry, and 17. So 13 to 17 rounds, 13 to 17, we are just gonna put one single crochet in each uh, stitch around. So chain one and then work oops, one single crochet in that same stitch that we chained up one in and then one in one single crochet in each stitch all the way around then slip stitch to the beginning then chain one and put one single crochet in each stitch around. So you should have let's see rounds 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So five rounds we are going to do with just single crochets. So I have my marker there so I know how many rounds that I'm doing. And so I will meet you back up then when you have done your five rounds. Okay, so as you can see, I did round 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, and I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning here. All right, and on these rounds, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, you should have 22 single crochets on each uh, round. Now on round 18, we are going to chain one, and we're going to actually work half double crochets. So yarn over, go into the stitch, Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, so we're going to be working a half double crochet in each stitch around for round 18, just like this. All right, so I'll meet you back up when I have all of the half double crochets on each stitch around on this round, which is round 18. All right, so then on, that was round number 18, so we're just going to slip stitch to the beginning, and then round number 19, we are actually going to just chain one and work a single crochet 
in each stitch around. So not doing half double crochets on round number 19. We're just going to do single crochets on this round. And then I'll meet you back up when I have my single crochets on each stitch around on this round number 19. Alright, so then just slip stitch to the beginning there. And then chain one. And going on to round number 20, we are going to do half double crochets. So basically just repeat round 18. So and not doing single crochets, we're doing half double crochets on this round. So work one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. This is round number 20. Okay, finishing round number 20, we're just going to do a slip stitch in the beginning like that. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around on round 21. So you're basically repeating round 19. So just do one single crochet in each stitch around. This is round 21. And then on round 22, we're going to do a half double crochet on each round, and then we're going to fasten off. So round 22 is our last round, so I'm going to finish up this round, and then make sure you do round 22, which is all half double crochets, uh, one half double crochet in each stitch around, and then I'll meet you back up when I'm ready to fasten off. Alright, so I just finished rounds 21 and 22. Uh, round 21 was just single crochets all the way around, and round 22 was half double crochets all the way around, but since you've been doing the half double crochets all the way around, I kind of just assumed you knew what you were doing already, so I did not film the round 22, uh, but just make sure you do that round 22 is all one half double crochet in each stitch around. Then we're going to slip stitch to the beginning there, and then we're going to fasten off. What I usually do is just chain up one, trim my yarn, and pull it all the way through. Okay, and then we're basically done. Um, we just have to sew in this end here. This is our straggler. So we're just going to take our yarn needle and yarn it and then, or thread it and then thread it through all of the stitches here. That's good. Then pull it tight and then trim that. Okay, so now we have this so far. Looks pretty cool. We want it to look like this, so all we have to do is flip this over like a sock and you want to make sure that you flip it over um, fold over the cuff rounds 17 to 22 so yeah 22 21 20 19 18 17 so if you need to count your rows you can do that or fold it over however you like just like that so now I have my left booty done because the button is on the outside of the left booty. So now I want to sew on for the right booty. I'm going to sew on a button that matches this booty. And I bought these buttons from the Craft Stars, the Louboutin, and these are 7 eighths inch, which is 22 millimeters, these wooden buttons. So you can find these buttons, or you can find something else, some type of button that you like, or you don't even have to use a button. Um, these are kind of just cute by themselves. But I like the button look, so I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing. It's nice to have a yarn needle in that same color yarn that you used for the booty. and. We're actually not going to be working through the whole fold here. I'm going to actually fold this up, position my button there, and then fold it up and work from this side. So underneath, to the front, 
Okay. And then I just make an X. Like that. And then cut my yarn. And here, I'm just gonna unfold that for a minute and tie that in a knot. Oops. There we go. So make sure that's secure. And then just sew in these stragglers really quickly. Trim that yarn, okay, fold that back over, and then fold it like that to match the other one, but there you have it. Your booties are finished. So if you need to, rewind this video and make the other one, and you have a pair of your very own baby booties. So I hope you learned something and were able to make these booties with me today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to join my Facebook as well. I'll put links for everything, for the pattern, for my Facebook, all that good stuff in the description of this video. So thank you so much for watching. Happy hooking!